Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I welcome you to subscribe and join the family. So today it's here. We're gonna talk about it. The Wayne Goss Powder Foundation in two shades and the little beauty puffs. We're gonna see what we think. Is it oily skin approved? Let's talk about it all. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Let's get to it. So moving on to the products. The foundation does come in 12 shades. I picked up shade seven, thinking that would be a great match for my base. And I picked up shade five, thinking that would be a great shade for my bronzer. But honestly, this looks a little light for my liking for bronzer. I did do, I did swatch it and I will pull, have those up on Instagram, but we'll also do them here. I also picked up the loose powder. Does, I have not even tried it, opened it. I'm opening it here with you guys. So here it is. It is translucent. That has absolutely no scent whatsoever. Neither does the foundation. Not at all. The foundation does retail for $38. It's your standard one ounce of product. It does have a 24 month shelf life and it is a cream foundation. The powder does come with 0.88 ounces. It does also have a 24 month shelf life. And these are the beauty puffs. This is your fluffier side. And then this is your smoothing side with with the little band that can adjust to each side. And he does recommend using the smooth, flatter surface for the cream foundation and using the fluffy side for the powder. Therefore, I did pick up two, one for the foundation, one for powder, and we will check it out. It does have a silicone insert in the middle and you can definitely feel that and it is sturdy. So that's nice. We'll have to see how that functions. In regards to the claims of the foundation, let's read up on the claims. It claims, discover your smoothest skin with Wayne Goss's first ever foundation, the luxury cream foundation. This classic cream formula glides into the skin like silk, feels and wears just like real beautiful skin, no matter your age. Thanks to a high pigment load, a little goes a long way. Blend it out for sheer payoff or build it up for your ideal level of coverage. Under coverage, it says up to full coverage with a satin finish. The formula is cream. Why it's special. Classic cream formula glides on smoothly, minimizing the look of pores, lines, and skin texture for a poreless finish. High concentration of pigment for customizable coverage levels. Mix the shades together for bespoke highlighting and sculpting effects. That's exciting. And I think the whole mixing situation might be more like a makeup artist, but Wayne Goss himself is a makeup artist, so that makes sense. Not something I would personally do. I will have Wayne Goss's introductory video below, and if you wanna check that out and see the application methods he recommends. Now, as far as the shade range, so there are 12 shades, the deepest being one and the lightest being 12. That just blows my mind. Like that is so untraditional. And yes, the shade range is minuscule. However, I feel like if you're looking for that full coverage, that's kind of where that shade range will kind of become a problem. If you kind of shear it out, just like you do a tinted moisturizer, tinted moisturizers usually don't have 45 to 50 shades. They usually have anywhere from four to 12. So it really depends. If you're really going for that full coverage, I think that's where the shade range may be more applicable versus if you're going sheer. He did mention in his video that he wanted to see how it launched and how this launch went with these 12 shades in hopes of adding additional shades. I hope that that will be the case. I do wish that would have been the case with the bronzers because I believe the bronzers did well, but I'm not his accountant, so who knows? 
but I hope if he brings out additional shades in the foundation, he will also do so in the bronzer. I didn't purchase one. I was kind of like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which shade I would want, which shade would be best. So I never did the bronzer, but I absolutely love his brushes, his blush and highlighter duos. Love them. I didn't pick up any of the last two. I felt they were too similar and I really enjoy the other four. So let's move on to swatching. Prior to starting to film, I did swatch them on my face just to see if it was a good match. This is shade seven. This is a perfect match on my face, like absolutely perfect. And you typically, I at least I do, want my face exactly my color and then I can bronze it up to match my body. Because your neck never really tans right here. So I really just want it to look cohesive. So this is shade seven right here. So right here, you can see I applied a little bit on top of that vein, but I sheared it out. I'm going to apply it on top of that vein, but not shear it out. And you definitely get the full coverage. You can no longer see that greenish blue of the vein just peeking through. Then I picked up shade five. I thought this would be a nice bronzer shade for me. You all know I love me a good bronze. Absolutely love. But I think this is a little light for bronzing, in my opinion. But we're going to try it on the face and see what we think it might i always use multiple bronzers anyway but i think that's going to be too light we might have to go for shade four i'm just saying is it still available let's look so three shades are currently sold out shade 12 11 10 and 9. so the four lightest shades have sold out and looking online, I definitely think I would need shade four to bronze. I, I don't know what I was thinking going with shade five, but hey, who knows? Shade five might be my shade once I tan, but it's not my shade today. And then as far as the powder, I did wipe my hand off. So he did say the powder, as long as you don't go really heavy with it, you can't, you will not get flashback and it will be completely translucent. He did say if you go kind of heavy with it, it does have the possibility to give some flashback. And I think that's pretty much, that could be pretty much said for any powder that's lighter than your skin tone. I did keep the little pouches that the puffs come in because he does recommend if you're oily skin like myself to getting that powder getting it in the puff really rubbing it in there and storing it in the little bag that does reseal just to keep it in your purse and you can touch up he said if you infuse it with the powder you tap it powder comes up and you touch up i will say my makeup artist for my wedding did that for me and it worked it absolutely works. When I heard him say that the first time, this is not the first time Wayne Goss has said that, I was like, oh, my makeup artist was onto something. So I have not played with these. So let's just see what we think. Let's just go ahead, dive in. So I am going to flip this over to go on to, this is elastic, that's nice. Makes it easier to flip over and go on to the flat side. And with shade seven, I am going to just apply that. I'm kind of scared to apply too much because he did say a little goes a long way, but you can see that there, that is a perfect shade match. Absolutely perfect. I'm thinking I want to rub my finger in there and just rub it on my face, like dab it all over my face and then rub it in. It is a very balm-like, if you can see the shine there. But I will say this little area where I blended it in, it doesn't feel too bad. And hopefully this is not too much. It's okay, trial and error. We'll figure it out as we go.
<laughs> I am not one that likes to play around with a product too much until I figure it out. But Wayne Goss being a makeup artist, I was excited to try it. I said, you know, you may be onto something. We're going to see. And he did say you can get shade 12 and combine a little of shade 12, which is pretty much like a white shade. And you can combine shade 12 with your foundation shade and create like a lighter concealer. Not too much lighter, but I would assume you can play with it if you're mixing and really play around with how light you want it if you're mixing it with that really fair shade. So there it is kind of sheared out. You still see the hyperpigmentation here, my beauty mark, another beauty mark here, beauty mark here. I have a set of three beauty marks on this side and then I have some hyperpigmentation here. This is not hyperpigmentation, that is a very large pore, very large. So now I wanna try to get some more and just see if I can build that up in the areas of hyperpigmentation and see how that looks. And the test for me will really be around the nose area. If I can powder this and it will stay in place around my nose area, that would be the true test for me. And I do have a blemish right here. I don't like to apply too much to cover a blemish. I don't mind dabbing a little over it just so that it kind of blends in but I don't like to pile it on. I feel like that does more bad than good. But as far as the hyperpigmentation, it did cover that. It did build up beautifully. Let me get my mirror. Let me get a mirror and take a closer look. I do like how the puff performs on the face. On the nose, I feel like I have little strokes. And that may just be my oils. Uh, my nose is really, really oily. Yeah, if I do a padding motion on my nose versus the swiping like I did on the face, it blends beautifully and it doesn't leave any streaks. I do like to go a little sheer on my forehead as that is where most of us get the most sun. So it's like I usually have a not natural bronze up there that I like for it to peek through. So here it is sheared out on this side of my face as well as my forehead and here it is built up. You can definitely see the shine on this. I'm very curious to see what the powder is going to make the final finish look like. It does have a little tack to it Kind of like if my oils were seeping through after I set my face, like just a tiny little bit, not much. I definitely don't see this being transfer proof, but he never claimed it to be. As far as I did bring it all the way into my under eye, it's not creasing as of right now, so we'll have to see. So let me go ahead. I don't want to play around with this to make it work. Like to make it work for the sake of the video. I don't want to do that. I want to apply it the way I would if I was doing my makeup every day. So I want my coverage built up <laughs> where my hyperpigmentation is. Because that is what I would do if I was wearing this for everyday use. So that is how I want to test it. Okay, 
that is a good coverage where my hyperpigmentation is covered. It doesn't need to be completely gone. I just don't want it to be the primary focus. I'm just gonna, with whatever's left on my puff, just bring it down my neck and blend everything in together. Very nice, a little too dewy for me as of now, but that applied nicely. I'll definitely have to keep playing with it and see how it applies with a sponge, see how it applies with a brush. But for today, since it is a first impression, I'm gonna follow his guidance. So next is my beloved bronzing. I did use this side of the puff for that shade, so I'm just gonna turn it over and still use that this smoother side. So I'm going to go into shade five and you see that there and just see, yeah, that's not deep enough for me. Not at all for a bronze. Definitely not. That just looks, it still looks natural. I will say, um, Wayne Goss has been really good with responding if you have questions and when I was making attempting to make my purchase I did send him a DM on Instagram with absolutely no intentions of him responding to me and he did he helped me and he did say that he is in the process of working with Beautylish to see if they can put a list together of like, if you're this foundation shade in MAC, you would be this foundation shade in his. And hopefully that would help. I hope they accomplish that. That would definitely be helpful for the consumer. I really thought once it was released on Beautylish, making the decision of the shade would be easier. And honestly, once I read the undertones, I thought it was harder. So just, that's just my opinion. So I knew he was a shade nine. So I was just like, well, I think I'm a few shades darker than him. So there it is. You really can't see much of a bronze at all. Let's be realistic. I really don't think shade five is gonna be a shade for me. I should probably either return that to get shade four or keep it for when I tan. Cause let's be real, summer's not even here. And this Florida heat is no joke. So next, let's move on to the powder. So for the powder, I'm going to put my puff in here Tip it over, just get that in there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Yeah, you can see the powder is there. I'm gonna really rub that together and pour some more. I'm gonna pour it in the cap. That's what I'm gonna do. Just so I can see how much I'm getting. So I'm gonna pour it in there, rub it in there, and then really rub that into the sponge like he recommended. And then, ooh, ooh, tapping off the excess. And this is like the fluffier side. And then just really, oh, that's still too much. It's okay, we'll brush it off. He also said, which I thought was really interesting because I've never tried that with a, oh, that mattified. Wait a minute. Okay. Sorry. My <laughs> I like that finish, so it caught me off guard. So he did say you can apply this. Like, if you're going to apply a really intense shadow shade or you applied it already, you can put this powder on a brush before you put the shadow or even after if you want to soften it and it'll soften the shadow out. 
I was happy to hear that. Oh, hold on. I got to do half of my face and show you this finish. I like this powder. The foundation now looks absolutely gorgeous. It does not. If you're oily skin, if you like the glow, go for the glow. And you can easily put this on a brush and not put as much powder. But I feel like the powder is really just going to set it. But if you do not want that soft matte look, then don't do the powder. With a puff, you can definitely do it with a brush. So this side of my face is powdered. And this side of my face it's not powdered. So you can definitely see the glow. This healthy glow with my oils, and I am extremely oily. So if you're new to my channel, I'm 38 years old, excessively oily. Like from the time I get out of here, wake up in the morning to the time I go to bed, they are flowing. So this will not work, not at all. This will slide down my face and end up in my lap within 40 minutes. So we're not gonna do that, but this side, mattified looks gorge so what i'm going to do on this side just to see the finish that we get is apply the powder with my lamer powder brush so i do have powder in the cap and i'm just gonna swirl that in there get it all in the brush and just brush that lightly all over the face and maybe if you like that glow and you're drier skin than myself, then definitely that may be an option. We'll see. Absolutely. I can see it on the viewfinder. So you still get like this soft matte look, but you get you still have a healthy glow peeking through. Where over here, no, no, you don't. Absolutely not. And if I buff this in. You still don't because I really like pressed the powder in there. And the best technique is press and roll if you have large pores like myself. But I'm impressed with this in multiple ways. One, the under eye. I bought that all the way up, all the way up. And there's no creasing. Do I have lines? Yes, absolutely. I'm 38 years old and I embrace them and I love them. But look how minimized my pores look. My hyperpigmentation is covered. I really feel this would last. But the true test is gonna be the wear. And on this side, so the pores are not as minimized as they are on this side, but, but keep in mind, I did use a brush versus the pressing motion with the powder, but it still looks good. This bronze shade, that is not a bronze shade for me. I'm just saying, that's not gonna work. But that's not his fault, that's my fault for picking that shade. <laughs> but here you are. This is beautiful. I'm going to wear this approximately five, six hours. I don't think I'll be able to come back and do a video check-in, but I will definitely leave a pinned comment with the good, the bad, and the ugly. If I'll start with the nose area. As of right now, it looks really nice. I have coverage there. I'm not gonna apply any concealer. I'm not gonna apply any more powder. I am gonna do my eyebrows, some bronze, some blush, and give myself a little life. We are going to do that but I am filming this in 4K. So what you see here, this is not filtered, natural skin. So again, this is the brush side, did minimize the pores, not as much as it did on this side with the puff and the powder. Okay, Wayne, I'm ready. Well, no, I'm not ready because I'm still pale. I need a little bronze in my life. And shade five is not going to do it. But I will most likely, if this wears well, be ordering shade four. But I'm excited for this. Okay, you guys, I was able to sneak in this video clip because the kids are off to bed. I'm excited for this because this is 
four and a half hours in. So let me get a mirror. As far as what I see, I am oily here. You can see the shine. But for someone who's excessively oily, that is not bad at all. I do have some shine on my nose, but the face looks flawless. It looks beautiful. Right here, the foundation stayed. It's not gone. I like that. Yes, yes, yes. And this was the, where I set it with the brush. And this is where I set it with the, with the puff. The under eye still has not creased or caked. I really like that I was able to bring that all the way up and I didn't even have to conceal. I would definitely, if I was out and about, touch up my nose and forehead. But my face looks fine. I'd probably dab with a powder right here just to kind of minimize the pores because now that the oils are seeping through you see them a little more than you initially did. I am sure I will be able to wear this for a few hours but I kind of want to touch it up and see what it looks like on camera. So I need to get my Botox retouched but it did not sink into my 11s. Right here my smile lines if you can see like a micro hair, like a tiny, tiny bit. It didn't separate, but if I like stretch it, I can see a little tiny line where it settled just a little bit. The sides of my nose look good. It doesn't look cakey around my blemish. This is nice. I'm gonna tell you wholeheartedly it's cream and I did not expect it to work and when I was on Wayne Goss's live and people were asking is it good for oily skin and he was like it's good for all skin types but if you're oily you're gonna have to touch up I mean you have to touch up that like bling red flag went off and I'm like oh I'm not sure I want to try this I am so glad that I did so I will say on this side, where I didn't use the puff, there's a little bit more on the smile line there than here. But I laugh a lot. I smile a lot. For it to be that minimal, that's normal for me. But I'm liking this. Let's touch up. Let's touch up and let's touch up the way I applied. So I'm gonna go into the powder and very, a lot less than what I set with. Like this is a little bit. I'm just gonna rub my brush in there. I think I did use a Lumiere brush. It doesn't matter what brush. There's nothing on here but translucent powder. It does have to be washed. Don't judge me. That's really pretty. That touched up nicely. You can still see the blush. And I do have on the Wayne Goss Blush Peony palette. So you can still see the blush. You can still see the highlight. It dipped, it dimmed it down just a bit, but not too bad. I'd rather have some than none. So now let's touch up on this side with the puff. And I'm just going to rub that together to see if anything comes out from last time. Yeah, it has a little bit in it. So I'm just going to lightly. I feel like the pores on this side are still less visible and noticeable than this side. This touched up flawlessly. Again, here's the brush side and here is the puff side. And both sides didn't wash away the blush. 
it's still it dims it down like i said just a bit on both sides yes wayne approved stamp of approval for oily skin if you said it if you said it so let's do that let's go into some thoughts if you're oily skin you cannot walk around with this unset absolutely not the powder i really enjoy this is not a let me just touch this up if you're oily skin put on my hyperpigmentations and do a no makeup makeup you're gonna have to put some sort of powder or this is just going to melt away as far as transfer i didn't test it but this is like a little a little bag and i was planning on getting rid of it so it's there's nothing on there i'm pretty sure if you wear a mask and as it moves it may be transferable like it might transfer onto your mask but this i feel this side with the puff the pressing this just really locked in and this side is still beautiful still gives you a glow and i like that i like that as an oily skin type i have an option to mattify or have a little bit of glow and honestly xavier my son and my husband both liked the brush side more. They said, we like that it's a little more shinier. So they definitely noticed the matte look on the other side. But this is absolutely gorgeous. If you're dry skin, normal, normal, I still think you'll have to, or combo, you'll definitely still have to set. If you're dry, I think you'll really like this. If you have dry skin, I know you'll like this because that balmy feel, it melts into the skin. It looks but your it looks like your skin but better. I will say those are the goods. Now, to the bad. Based and it's not even bad based on the claims. Before I set this, I don't feel I don't feel the foundation on its own minimized pores and did everything that it claimed it was going to do i feel like i got all those claims once my makeup was set with the powder i feel like the powder did it and not the foundation however the foundation on its own is beautiful you saw it you saw it sheared out you saw it build up i'm really enjoying this i already put shade five the bronzer shade that i picked out in a box so I could drop it off at FedEx tomorrow and I have already gone online and order shade four as soon as I walked by and I saw it in the mirror I was like I need to have this I I need I need shade four so I'm excited for that but I am returning shade five so I will be trying it with a brush with a sponge let me know if you picked this up and you've tried it with a sponge or a brush and what you thought of the application method. I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm excited for it. Congratulations, Wayne. It's beautiful. But it coming from you, I had high expectations. Look at me talking to Wayne like he's going to watch. He, he doesn't. He ain't listening to me. But it's beautiful. And I am filming in 4K, no filters just is what it is that's my skin big poured and textured and I'm okay with it and thank you all so much for coming for giving me some of your time and until next time don't forget we're all perfectly imperfect bye